Good morning, everyone. Happy Monday. Whee! It's the beginning of the week. Okay, so I was recipe planning yesterday, and I said on Monday I want to do a crock pot meal. So I was starting to put it together, and I said this would be a perfect recipe to share with everybody. So I wanted to go live and share with you my crock pot recipe today. Um, of course, you know, it's going to be clean. So it is one of our favorites in this household. Um, we've had this recipe for a good while now, but it's a slow cooker Mexican shredded beef. This is an amazing recipe. It makes quite a lot, which is wonderful because A, that means there's leftovers. So I get multiple meals out of one recipe, which for a family of four is a complete win. Yay. And it, you can do a lot of different things with it. So first, let me tell you what is in the recipe. Okay, so the slow cooker Mexican beef, the recipe says it will serve eight people. So if you're gonna just do it for a meal, it's good for um, everyone. Yes, Amanda, I know you guys love it too. This came from one of my clean eating challenges, so it is a yummy, yummy recipe. Okay, so you're gonna need a two pound chuck roast. Um, you can get that at the grocery store, you can find that anywhere. So two pound chuck roast. You're gonna need one jalapeno seeded and finely chopped. Now, how much kick you want it is the size of the jalapeno. So if you want it to have less kick, get a smaller jalapeno. If you want it to have a little more kick, get a bigger one. So we got a pretty good size one. You're going to de-seed the jalapeno and finely dice it. Get it as small as you can. You are going to need three garlic, ooh, three garlic cloves. You're going to need to chop those up as well. And then you need one small onion. Dice that up as well. Now, if you, want, if you want your beef a little more oniony, get a larger uh, onion. Up to you, play with the, the recipe, but those, that's the produce that you need. You're gonna need one can, I don't know where my can went, of tomato sauce, an eight ounce can of tomato sauce. I literally, oh, here it is. An eight ounce sauce can, and like you know me, I always go for the no salt added, the less sodium. So eight ounce can of tomato sauce. Um, you are going to need a quarter cup of lime juice. You can do a fresh squeezed lemon or uh, lemon with the name, a fresh squeezed lime, or um, I just got some of the fresh uh, lime juice. Makes it easier to measure out. Uh, you will need one tablespoon of chili powder. You will need half a teaspoon of cumin, and you're going to need a quarter teaspoon of cayenne pepper. Now, say like I said, if you don't want that kick then don't put this in it. A quarter teaspoon's not a lot, so I don't mind it, but a lot of people might not like that extra spicy kick. So this would be a good thing to admit from the recipe if you don't want that kick, or if you wanna give it to the kids. Um, it's not a lot, but your judge. Um, then you're gonna need salt and pepper. So that is the recipe. I will post the recipes in the, co the comment section too, that way you kinda have a hard copy. But those are the ingredients. Pretty simple, right? And then of course, a crock pot. So, um, I have already took the liberty of dicing up my onions, my garlic, and my jalapeno. It smells so good. Um, you're going to lay that at the bottom of the crock pot. And funny thing is I actually bought some crock pot liners. I've been wanting to try them, but did I put it in my crock pot? No. So, um, for some of the messier things, you can get these crock pot liners and they help with the cleanup. But I forgot to do it yet again. Okay, here is my chuck roast. I seasoned the top already with the salt and pepper. So now I'm gonna lay it on top of the onions and the peppers and all that. And I'm gonna just season it on that side. Now with the salt and pepper guys, just season it to your liking. Um, there's no measurement or wrong, wrong, right or wrong seasoning. It's just whatever you like to season it with. So you're gonna season it all, both sides. Um, in a small bowl on the side, you're gonna put your can of tomato sauce, your quarter cup of lime juice, your tablespoon of chili powder, your quarter teaspoon of um, the cayenne pepper and then your half teaspoon of the cumin and you're just going to get it all in um, mix it all together and this is the sauce that you're going to pour over everything so you want to make sure it's well incorporated all in there together um, this is a yummy recipe like I said you can serve this over whole grain rice you can put it in taco shells like corn tortilla shells and make um, the Mexican beef tacos um, you can put this on a salad. Like this is a good leftover that I'll warm up a little bit and put it on a fresh bed of uh, leaves of spinach. So good. Um, and it's just good by itself too. You don't need to put it on anything. You could just put it on the plate by itself. So it's really yummy. 
And there's probably more options you can do with it. Amanda, I don't know if you have other things that you guys do with it. Please let me know below if you do. But that's everything mixed together. You are just going to pour it over the meat. You want to have the meat completely covered with it. So let's get it all on there. Um, Kylie, the recipe is called, it's a slow cooker Mexican shredded beef. So that is what it is. Like I said, I love the ease of crock pot meals. I get it ready in the morning. I put it in the crock pot and I don't have to worry about dinner the rest of the day. Uh, Amanda, you said you eat it over cauliflower mashed potatoes. There you go. That's a good idea too. Mashed potatoes. I didn't think about that. The cauliflower mashed potatoes, which are really yummy. If anyone's not tried those, those are really yummy. Okay. Every last drop of the sauce. Okay. So let me show you. I don't know if you can see it. Oh, sorry guys. Ah! So completely covered. Yummy, yummy. Peggy asked, do you sear the meat first? Nope, you put it in there raw, Peggy. It's gonna cook in the crock pot. So all you have to do is season it with pepper and salt and drop it directly in the crock pot. No cooking the meat, it's gonna do it all in the crock pot, which is easy peasy and makes life so much easier. So you got everything in there, you put it over there, and that's it. Your recipe is ready to go. So put on the crock pot lid, and you're gonna cook it on low for eight to 10 hours. Um, I've never cooked it 10 hours. It might depend on the meat. I've always done it six to eight. We're gonna do it for eight hours today. You're gonna cook it on low for eight hours. Um, what you could do is at eight hour mark, you can check it and if it's not pulling apart or not shredding easily with a fork, then add some more time. 10 hours to me is a very long time. Now say you want more meat, say maybe you want a four pound roast, then maybe then I would go for the 10 hours. Anytime you have any of these recipes, you can always double it up. So say instead of a two pound roast, I want a four pound roast, then I will double everything um, in the recipe to account for that. So um, you can also cook this on high for four to five hours. So if you're looking for a shorter period of time, cook it on high for four to five hours. We've done that too, very yummy. Um, basically once the beef is cooked at the end of the eight hours, it's tender. What does that mean? You're going to take two forks and you're going to shred it. If it easily shreds, you're good to go. If it's not pulling apart, like what I'm talking about is you stick your forks in it and do this and it should just crumble. If it's not doing that, that means it needs more cooking time. I would add another hour. Um, shred everything up with two forks. We just get two forks and have a shred party. Shred everything up and then stir everything together. So all the juices and the jalapenos and everything that's been cooking in there for eight hours, once the meat's shredded, you want to um, stir it all up really good so everything is really incorporated into all that yumminess. Um, and then you turn your slow cooker to warm. My slow cooker, once the cooking time's done, goes to warm automatically. But once you've um, done all that, you want to turn it on warm. That way everything stays nice and cooked. And like I said, um, tonight we are doing ours over rice. And we're going to do a side of broccoli with it. Yummy! So for my fixers out there, um, I'm going to do one red container of the beef. Um, so that'll be one red. And then... Um, I'm not going to count the vegetables. It's not enough vegetables for me to count on that. Um, I will count the sauce as a fruit. Now, why is tomato sauce counted as a fruit, as a purple, you might ask? It's because of the sugar content in it. When the nutritionist came up with 21 Day Fix, tomato sauce is put under the fruit category. So I will count that towards a purple. Not a whole purple, but that will go towards my purple. A yellow for my rice and then a green for the broccoli that we are gonna have. So that is my yummy dinner. And like I said, we will have leftovers for me and Dave. Um, I will probably make a salad to take to work tomorrow. So I'll get some spinach and measure out my amount and that will be put on spinach. I usually top it up with a little bit of cheese. Perfect. Um, great in tacos, um, like Amanda said, on top of mashed potatoes. So this recipe is so easy and I really hope you guys try it. Um, Kid-wise, um, I have a picky five-year-old. Some days he loves it. Other days he's like, eh, I don't like it. But if you guys have a five-year-old, you know what I'm talking about. Some days they love stuff. Other days it's like the worst thing on the planet. Caleb enjoys this recipe. He just has his plain. Um, he'll probably have some rice too. So does anyone have any questions about the slow cooker Mexican beef recipe? I'd love to answer any questions that you have. You all are actually getting two recipes this week. On Wednesday, I'm going to come to you with my what up 
Wednesday recipe and I'm gonna be doing Mexican lasagna. I had someone ask for Mexican lasagna, so I will be doing that on Wednesday. So we're kind of having a Mexican theme this week in the household. Shredded beef, the Mexican shredded beef today, and then Mexican lasagna Wednesday. Um, so it's a Mexican week in the household. We love it. Okay, does anyone have any questions? You can comment below or to either side, don't know. But um, hope you guys all have a great week. If you're watching this on replay or if you joined us late, this will be posted on my timeline always, so just watch from the beginning to get the recipe. Um, you can always go to my website, getfitwithcoachbecky.com. I actually have a recipe blog that I share a bunch of recipes there too. And as always, you can um, follow me on Facebook and I always post a lot of my recipes I do here. Like I said, I will take a picture of this recipe and post it in the comment section. So please look at that and let me know if you try this recipe. Easy peasy crock pot recipe is a total mommy win for me and it's clean eating. So that is a healthy win. So two wins, one morning. Okay guys. Thank you so much for joining. See you Wednesday.